That right there is one of the main things that's wrong with Muslim leadership today is that you don this garb of piety and religious knowledge and you wear the turbans and you wear the suits and everything like that. You can, you can, you can uh, spout out the Quran in Arabic so fluently and everything like that. And yet and still you're telling someone that you're connecting their faith and their piety and their taqwa to the same violence that Allah and his messenger condemned. African-American Muslims completely disassociated themselves from an entire faith, not only because <laughs> of the problem, that, the problem of the Trinity, but because of the utter oppression that was used in the name of that faith. And now here you come, just because you speak Arabic doesn't mean we're going to sit up here and drink that, 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 that chai that <laughs> is dehumanizing us. I'm very much putting Black Muslim men on blast for that. Because you should know better. <laughs> yeah, they should. You should know better. It's like they get, they get that you have this guy that's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know what it's like to go through anti blackness and racism in the confines of, uh, uh, from your co adherents. Why in the world are you dogging out black Muslim women? Don't go in with blinders thinking because it's a star and a crescent over that school that your son will not be exposed to bias and discrimination. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't think because the, the Qadi uh, and Quran teacher recite beautifully and they can teach your child Arabic that they're not also teaching them to have a, a lower self-esteem because of, of, mm -hmm. of his interracial background. Just go in knowing that your child may be exposed to that. And what are you going to do yeah. if he is? And may Allah protect him and all Muslim children because I see, I see the damage that it does. There's this uneven support and this, 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 this division of black Muslim authorship. And um, I think we need to kind of stop caring about that black Muslim authors. I think we really need to stop caring about what it is that other people are saying about what we write and really be empowered by, by our, our and show mutual support for each other in what we write and give each other positive feedback. Uh, African-Americans have right. control over their narratives when they write it. And so I think that's a, that's a, a, a heritage to be very, very proud of, but it's also that has influenced African American Muslim culture was this whole idea of using it as using our art and artistry as our voice in ways that maybe other people don't do because this is really the only way that we're going to get our voices out there and we've known that for for centuries this is the only way whether we whether we're singing slave songs in the cotton field okay and master enjoying it not knowing how subversive it really was <laughs> <laughs> okay. Or, you know, it's hip hop today, or it's, it, or it's visual artistry today, or it's books, spoken word is something that's very, very powerful. And it's just like, this is how we get our voices out. This is how we get our narratives out to everyone. The attack on black Muslim masculinity, it, it has patterns of it. There are generational patterns that are passed down. So it's not, a, it, the oppressed, the, 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 oppression of blacks is a generational thing it's a systematic yeah. thing and yeah. we're not doing it solely to ourselves some of us may internalize it but we're not doing it solely to ourselves so if there's a generational pattern of oppression there's a generational pattern of oppressors yes the thing that disturbs me the most is that i know that this exists and my heart hurts so badly that it exists in my deen and mm. people are attempting yeah. to take something that I found so much humanity and power and even just emotional safeness. And they're even using that yeah. to keep up this generational pattern of oppression.